Oh, feel better for that. Click tomorrow at 12.30 on the BBC News Channel. Warm welcome to BBC News, broadcasting to our viewers in North America and around the globe. My name is Mike Embley. Our top stories. No wall, no deal and no pay for many government workers as President Trump heads to the southern border. On day 20 of the crisis, the divide runs deep. He campaigned on it. He won on it. So what's the big deal? Why is everybody surprised? He is a crisis. He is a crisis to our country. Also on the road, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo tries to reassure American allies in the Middle East on a visit to Cairo. Felix Tshisekedi is declared winner of the presidential elections in the Democratic Republic of Congo, but it is disputed and the runner-up tells the BBC he'll mount a legal challenge. At least 16 people are killed and there's more brutal winter weather ahead for parts of Central and Eastern Europe. A tearful Andy Murray tells reporters next week's Australian Open could be his last tournament. He says he's in too much pain after hip surgery. Hello, with the partial shutdown of the US government about to become the longest in American history, there is no breakthrough in sight and many government workers will not get paid on Friday. President Trump refuses to sign any legislation to reopen the government unless it includes more than $5 billion to fund his long-promised war on the Mexican border. He's again threatened to declare a national emergency and today took his case to Texas, speaking with some of those patrolling the border. Nick Bryant was there. 